Mark, thank you. Developing news now. Striking writers back on the picket lines this hour. It's day three of their walkout. They're demanding a pay increase in their new contract, among other things. KTLA's Eric Spillman live in Culver City with more for us. Eric, good morning. Morning, Frank. We're outside Amazon Studios here, and you see the striking writers checking in. They actually scan their WGA cards into a computer to show that they've been here. They're picking up their picket signs, and they will begin a day uh, of picketing, third day of their walkout so far. Let's talk to Pam Davis. She is one of the striking writers, and she's written shows like House. House. It's one of the famous ones. Yep, House uh, on Becoming a God in Central Florida, and then little things like Intelligence and Secrets and Lies and... I have a pilot right now with John Wells and Warner Brothers, but uh, you might not see it because we're on strike, so we don't know if it's sold yet. Last night there was a rally with all the writers. There was a couple thousand of them at the Shrine Auditorium. It was kind of a pep rally to get people's spirits up. Did that work for you? It was actually way more than I thought it would be. I'm not a people person. I don't like to go in crowds and cheer. But we had the heads of, we had representatives from SAG and DGA and IATSE and the laborers and the Teamsters. And it was amazing. I think it was a historic moment. I might have left somebody out, so if I did, don't be insulted. But it was pretty historic. It was all the labor movement in, in L.A., and they're all on our side, and we're, we're all working together. We're going to get this done. People describe this as an existential moment for writers. In other words, your whole profession is at stake, you believe, with streaming and other changes in technology like artificial intelligence. Do you agree? Absolutely. Absolutely. The whole bros came in and they kind of disrupted the whole system without really knowing what worked in the system and what didn't work in the system. And they're using us kind of like, go make a widget. And so we're not really part of the process. We're not really part of the success. So yeah, if you leave out a writer, you leave out a director, you leave out an actor, it's just about making money. It's not about making TV. It's not about making a dream. It's not about making a movie. It's about making money. And you know, there's more to life than that. All right. Thanks so much for talking to us, Pam. Appreciate it. All right, so uh, what are the prospects for a settlement anytime soon? To be honest with you, not great. The two sides are not talking to each other and no negotiations are scheduled. And there's really been no change in that set of circumstances over the last couple of days or so. We'll send it back to you.